Hey YouTube and welcome once again to another action figure review by Tychondrus and today we're having a look at the Batman Retro Batman Wave from McFarland Toys. This is the Batman 66 Two-Face figure. Now if you're not familiar with this character because you don't remember him from the TV show it is because he was not actually in the TV show. Uh, in fact I don't think they ever even had a Harvey Dent character in the TV show. Uh, but what where this originates from is if I bring around the back of the box on the back of the box you can see instead of the TV show stuff that they have in the back of the box is most of the other figures in fact if I bring one of the other figure boxes up here bear with me a moment you see on the back of like Riddler here you can see it shows the Batmobile and other like these are the figure versions that's not the from the show itself but what they did just to iterate that this is from the comic that was written. Now, as far as I know, the comic was made, I think I want to say a couple of years ago at the time of this recording. So I don't think it's a new comic. I think it's one that came out maybe three or four years ago. <clears throat> but they did like a continuation of the 66 TV series in comic book form. And they introduced Harvey Dent as a villain as his alter ego two-face so that is where this guy originates as he's kind of a completely i would say made up character but he is an existing villain that never had a persona or a um basically representation on the tv show but he does come in the standard boxes as the other batman 66 retro stuff which is nice um i did hang on to boxes for some of them some of them i didn't because I got this guy at a convention so he does come with only one accessory he doesn't come with a small version of this accessory but what he does come with is his coin which actually has the scarred face which has freedom 1929 on it and then has a in her we trust on it as well or is it in Heroes We Trust? I think, yeah, in Heroes We Trust, Freedom and 1929. It's pretty plain on the side. It would have been cool if it was a silvered coin. It's just a kind of a beige, kind of off gray plastic color. It would have been nice if it was maybe copperized or silvered or even gold. It would have been kind of make it, make it a little bit nicer. You can sort of hold it in his hand if you want him to hold up but it's a bit big for him to be flipping around the place for his uh you know finding w what decision he wants to go with in his yes no kind of good bad decision type making and so i'll bring in the tape measure so you can see how tall this guy stands so this particular retro line is supposed to be in the six inch line you can see he stands if i didn't knock him over he stands just a hair around six inches. Now, the one thing people have pointed out in other reviews that I've seen is that he does tend to be a little taller than some of the main characters like Batman. So before I do the articulation and look at him, we'll bring in Batman. We'll bring in Robin, who is obviously going to be smaller than them. And the other figure we have from this era is the Joker. So I wanted to bring in Joker because I will be showing that there is some new articulation on these guys compared to the older ones and there is some kind of carryover as well which is interesting. But you can see he does stand a little bit taller than Batman. In fact Joker and he actually have nearly the same head height so Joker is actually quite a tall character compared to Batman. I think it's just the Batman himself might be a hair shorter than he should be. But then again, that's beside the point. <clears throat> so if I just move these guys off to the back. Without everything falling over. We'll have a quick look at him himself. So. Here he is in all his action figure glory. Move some of himself out of the way. So he has his iconic two-faced look. He has the kind of clean, well-kept hair on one side, the more 
human face on this side and then he has the scarred acid damaged face with unkempt hair he has the two-tone thing going on he has like a a really kind of normal looking tuxedo suit on one side and then he has like a scarred suit with these bright garish colors on the opposite side what's interesting is his hand on this side is not scarred or anything it's just the face which i do believe that was the case on some figures some versions of him the scarring went pretty much down all his body so if i bring in this version this is from the arkham video games you can see what i mean you can see his scarred hand a normal hand like they went he went way over with whole burnt side on one side including like like pretty much the whole side of his body is intended to be indicated that it's all scarred and mangled or is on this version it's just his face the upper face seems to be the one head sculpt is quite nice the head is on a really nice ball joint as well you get some side tilt some forward and back and a full 360 if you want he does have a waist swivel he do, does have those kind of standard joints for the legs, so you can kickboard if you move the, the jacket out of the way a bit. He has single jointed knees, which are very tight. He has a swivel on that knee. He does have single, he has sorry, rotating elbows, so you can go out that much and can rotate all the way around. Or not elbows, shoulders. He does have single jointed elbows with a rotation. He does have swivels in the wrists. On this hand it is quite tight at the moment and he does have the he doesn't have anything in the ankles and he does have peg holes in the ankles which i think is different to some of the other figures today i know they had peg holes as well they just don't come with sands so one of the reasons i brought in joker is because you can see on the joker figure this is one of the first figures they did you can see there's a visible hinge on the shoulder which isn't on some of the later figures um two face doesn't come with these things either the kind of uh you know sound effects slash punching effects but what i did want to point out on on two face if we can get him up here is his shirt does seem to be very similar sculpt to jokers in fact it looks like it's the same sculpt just done with different hands now i know this side is all scarred and kind of you know details and stuff it's kind of hard to see on the jacket but it's more prevalent on the actual pants and legs but if you look at the joker's design you can see they did take that same it almost looks, looks like it's the same pink color as all well for the thing and you can even see there's the cuff underneath where the orange is so you can see it is very similar in design it, it looks like they went back to the drawing board sculpted stuff over this existing design to give him the the kind of suit look that he's wearing the legs are different in fact joker's knees are a little bit more hidden than two faces but the, the legs don't share any similarities other than that they are kind of similar color on one side but like they don't share anything on the other side they're actually a new sculpt but it is interesting to note that they kind of did kind of slightly reuse older parts to create the two face figure which isn't a bad thing because like this, this is probably cost cutting and it is a pan uh, it is a dress suit so like it isn't like he's wearing anything completely obscure like um mr freeze with his freeze gun and or the the suit that he wears or <clears throat> king tot with his kind of egyptian robes so it is there is going to be some crossover going on with characters that wear kind of a similar attire so there is that but all in all he's a pretty cool figure um he does have the one grip hand now he doesn't as i said he doesn't come with a coin so if you had something you could probably get as a coin in fact maybe like a playmobile coin or even something like a lego one of the old lego coins would probably work well you might have to just do a little bit of sculpting on it that would probably work and then repaint it you could give him a coin like that and he does have a punching fist hand which is a little bit of a shame i did point it out in like the batman review for the batmobile and for the bat cycle that both batman and robin robin having closed fist hands for the left hand is nice but it's also detrimental to them because they can't ha hold stuff 
like the handlebars on the bike batman can't hold both handlebars because he's stuck in that with like closed fist uh mode but his added accessory for this is pretty cool now as far as i'm aware he is <clears throat> a target exclusive in the states so you might have to chase him down to get this one over here i got mine from heroes and villains <clears throat> which is a online store and it's uh i'll put a link in the description below they do ship international as well if you want to pick them up um i picked him king tut and the julie newmar version of catwoman up from him um and jay who runs the site and store told me that he is hoping to get in the wayne manor set <clears throat> now that's not the back back gave set it's the wayne manor which has the pulls like it's the wayne manor library kind of set the what was the other one that was announced the wayne manor library and the bat boat and i think was there something else I think there was one other big kind of set as well whichever set it is he is hoping to get all the kind of stuff for this line to if sell so i will be picking those up as i get them so and doing reviews as soon as i can so there you go guys hope you enjoy this quick radio review for the batman 66 comic inspired version of two-face and as always, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Cheers, guys.